Welcome to the Microsoft Dynamics demonstration. This presentation is aimed at anybody that's new to Microsoft Dynamics and needs to get an understanding as to the core areas of the application, but also identify how they can navigate and search through the system successfully. Now I'm going to select on the contact area and you'll see that a contact list view will appear on the right hand side. So these are all the people that are associated to Tailspin Toys. If I select on a particular contact and uh, double click, I can then view in and view that individual. So you can see here I'm looking at a contact record that's related to Tailspin Toys. And the layout is very similar. We've still got the menu bar on the left and we've still got the toolbar at the top and finally the tabs underneath. All the records or all the information in here are only related to the contact that I've selected on. Once I'm happy with that information, I can then select Save and Close, and it takes me back to the account view and back to the list area, where I can create new contacts that are related to Tailspin, or even add in existing ones from this list. On the left-hand side there, you can see that I've got additional sections that are actually broken down by role, sales, service, and marketing. So in the sales area, I've actually got an entity called Opportunities. So this is where I can see all the sales deals that are related to Tailspin Toys. So I'm going to double click into one of these opportunities and just open that up just to show you that, that this has a very similar view to the contacts and accounts area. You still have the menu bar on the left hand side where we can attach in products and additional activity information, the tabs at the top and even the form assistant is available should I sh so need it. So I'm going to click into workflows and you can see that we've actually got a workflow attached into this particular opportunity. And I can actually drill in and view that workflow and see the steps and stages that have been applied. Incidentally, workflow can be applied to any entity on the system to guide somebody through certain steps and stages. Once I'm happy with that, I've closed my opportunity, I can then actually drill in and even view customer service queries via a case. The view is very similar, so I won't open up this view. I'm just going to save and close that particular account. It'll take me back to my list view. And then I'm going to look at how we can start to attach in records to this particular information. So I'm going to go to my inbox and view that I've got an email that's come in from one of my contacts at Tailspin Toys. Now what I could do is select on that particular email and track it back into CRM and set the regarding without even opening the email. However, if I do open the email, I've got the same user options available in the ribbon at the top of the screen. So what I'm going to do is actually track that email back into CRM so it goes in as, an, as a history item for everybody to be able to see. I can then also use the set regarding options to even search and actually attach it to an individual entity. So I know this email is related back to that opportunity that, we're, that we were just in. So I'm going to hit the look for option and actually attach that into that particular opportunity. You can see in that list I could link it to another record if I wished. So I've selected on opportunity and you can see these are all the opportunities that are available to me. So I'm going to select on that CRM opportunity and select OK. This email has now been attached in as a history item to that particular opportunity. And you'll see we've activated some additional options in the ribbon at the top. And if I hit view regarding, it should open up the opportunity that is now related to that email. If I open up that email and go to the menu bar on the left and look into the history, I should see a copy of that email has now been stored, each date and time stamped. If I double click into that email and open it up, you can see all the information that was tracked has now been placed in there for everybody to see. OK, so I've now closed out of that email and gone back to my main screen. And you can see I can do exactly the same to appointments. So if I'm creating in new appointments, what I can do is if I want to schedule an appointment may maybe in for Monday with that particular contact record, I can drag and drop and create my appointment just as I do every day within Outlook. But what you'll see in the ribbon at the top of the screen is I still have the ability to track that back into CRM if I wish. What I've also got is the ability to invite attendees. So if I open up the two record, you can see in the address book on the right hand side, I've got my standard address book. But if I hit the drop down, you can see I've also got the uh, option to select certain CRM accounts, contacts and even other users. 
So I'm going to select on CRM contacts and you can see there's my contact at the top there and I can add them in as an attendee. By selecting OK, they've then been uh, associated to that particular record. I can then put in my subject information. You can see this is going to be a meeting and it's going to be in London. I can then put in um, any further details I wish at the bottom of the screen there. So I'm happy with that appointment. I'm now going to go back up to my Outlook ribbon and hit Track in CRM and also hit set regarding but you can see because I've already selected the opportunity in the past it's remembered that so I can select it again this means I don't have to go searching for it if I've already selected it in the past so I'm now going to hit send and send that appointment out and you'll see it's gone into my Outlook calendar if I double click back into that appointment and hit view regarding it'll take me back to that opportunity record that we were just in and I'd expect to see in the activities area a copy of that appointment stored in date and time stamped for everybody to see. There it is there at the top. Great, so I'm happy with that. I'm just going to hit save and close and just close out of my appointment and go back to my main screen and go back to my calendar. So if I now go back into uh, Dynamic CRM through the folder options and look at my accounts in the list view area, I can then identify each of my individual records and even create new ones from the toolbar at the top there. So should I need to create a new record, all I need to do is hit the new button in the top left hand side and I've then got a clear form where I can start to add in my account information. Obviously the items with the red asterisks are the mandatory fields that I must fill in. At the top toolbar I've then got three options, the ability to save, save and close or even hit save and new should I wish to create multiple records at once without having to close out of the, of the form. So I'm just going to navigate out of the page but you can see it's very quick and easy to create new records. Once I've got those records created into the system what I can also do is view a dashboard and identify um, how my accounts are doing, what opportunities I've got in my pipeline and this is using Dundas, uh, using SharePoint as well so I can create web parts that identify certain sales information, marketing or even service. These are also hyperlinks so if I click on one of those particular graphs it will take me through and view a list of those opportunities that are relating to that particular sales funnel. Okay, so what we're going to look at next is the uh, web client so you can see how similar the interface is. You can see when I go into the web client, it's exactly the same in terms of a toolbar at the top of the screen where I can create new activities and new records or even conduct an advanced find. You've still got the menu bar on the left hand side which shows you your additional options and at the bottom instead of a folder structure, you can see buttons there that relate to the individual roles that a user may have. If I click into sales, you can see it shows me in the menu options. I'm now back to that dashboard that I was just looking at, but I've also got the ability to click into other entities. So if I click back into opportunities, you can see a, a list of all of my open opportunities. I can then double click into that particular opportunity to view further details. You'll see the opportunity view is exactly the same as the one that we saw within the Outlook client. If I click into something like the Team tab, and something that you've got within the Outlook and the Web Client, you can see with Office Communication Server integrated, there's a uh, dot that's to the left-hand side of the contact names, which allows me to view my site information, even uh, fire off a phone call, or even send an instant message to that particular person if they're online, so they can then receive and send that back instantly. This is an additional option that can be applied into Dynamics CRM. Great, so what you've seen there is just a flavour of what Microsoft Dynamics can really do. And hopefully you've seen that we try to utilise the natural user experience for each of your individuals by accessing the application from within Microsoft Outlook or via a web browser. Either way, the look and feel is exactly the same and this should reduce training time because the user is already familiar with those environments.